Hey Shuby Doodlers, how are you doing? Well, today I went to Hereford, which is a, um, a town not far from where I live. And I had to go there because uh, my car needed servicing and I really should have a car with a garage closer by, but uh, that's the way it goes. So anyway, I went to Hereford the, for the day and while the car was being serviced, um, I went to the museum first of all. I went to Hereford Museum. Hereford's a very agricultural county and Hereford's the middle of it. And you may have heard of Hereford beef and Hereford cattle. Um, and one of the prized possessions in the museum is a double-headed calf. And um, it said it's a two-headed calf the farmer forgot to leave out a saucer of milk for the fairies. And they used to believe that, that the fairies um, would come and drink milk. And if you didn't leave it out, the fairies' revenge would be to deform newly born livestock. That's a pretty cruel kind of thing. Now, the other thing Hereford is really famous for is cider, um, which is made from apples. So there's lots of orchards around Hereford and they had these two things. This is a, a wooden tankard which holds about probably I should think probably about two pints I should think. <laughs> two pints of cider will get you a long way I think and this here's a beautiful horn cut. So this is actually the horn of a cow um, which has been turned and, and kind of drilled uh, and it says almost translucent and then this beautiful drawing was kind of etched on the outside, uh, like kind of scrimshaw, like the sailors used to do with um, like walrus tusks and things like that. One thing that really fascinated me was this thing here called a strickle, um, a rip or ripe sickle sharpener uh, used with a grease horn and sand. So it's, it's, it's wood, it's made out of wood and you would sharpen your sickle that you'd be cutting grass and uh, corn and things like that with. You know, those kind of curved blades that you sort of slice through the grass with. And so this horn, again, has been sort of hollowed out. And and a slice has gone through there. And as a, as kind of a metal blade goes in there to hold the grease inside it. So you pull the blade out of it. Obviously, take a scoop of grease, smear it down the side of the wood here. So you've got the handle. And, and it's, it's about... Um, Ooh. this part here was about sort of 30 centimeters probably about a foot long and and in it it was pitted so they got gouged out these little pits little kind of holes and so you smear grease all over it and then you put sand on it and the sand will then eventually work its way into these little pits and then you sharpen the blade on there and the sand is the actual abrasive that sharpens it. And you'd have thought that a piece of wood would kind of wear out in no time, but obviously the sand kind of protects it. And you know, you'd know, expect to use a piece of steel or a piece of stone or something to sharpen a sickle with. I was really amazed that a piece of wood and sand and grease would, would last. And they had these wonderful paintings there of Hereford bulls. Uh, and these are famous bulls. This one's called Victory, number 33. So these are in a, actually in a catalogue. So these, I've, I've copied the original, ooh, copied the original paintings, uh, just did quick little sketches. Uh, and from the paintings, they did little uh, sort of etchings or something, which went into a catalogue of famous Hereford bulls. <laughs> and also they had this wonderful clock. So I suppose that was about, oh, Mm, two or three, about almost three feet, no, no, two and a half foot wide, I suppose, where it's sort of one, three, three, six, 60, 60, 60 70 centimetres wide. And, and I just love the, these arrows. So it's a very kind of art deco clock. From the 1930s, it was the cinema clock at the Odeon Cinema in High Town in Hereford. Anyway, I left the... Um, the museum and I went for a little walk and I found a place called Offer Street and Offer was a king oh in about sort of I don't know 700 or something like that and he built Offer's Dyke right the way across the edge of England on the border of Wales to keep the Welsh out of England <laughs> and you can uh, walk along Offer's Dyke there's not much of it left really but there's a sort of an Offer's Dyke walk now 
And so Offer Street is kind of a very ancient kind of name. And there on the corner is the Hereford Cattle Company. This is their sign. And and, and they have a kind of a corner um, entranceway with this portico, what do you call it, as a canopy outside the door with a Hereford bull. A very well endowed Hereford bowl, <laughs> kind of model on the top, and I'm sure most people walk past there and never ever see it. <laughs> oh, I'm not really showing it to you here, am I? There we are, and uh, I'm sure most people walk past there and never really ever see it. So what happened then? I went to the old cattle market, and um, I had a cup of coffee sat there watching people i saw these two people sitting on i was quite ama <laughs> amazed to see, i'm amazed to see people smoking these days um i'm uh, i'm kind of amazed to see such large people i remember when i first went to america i was really shocked by the size of people and um i went there last year and was surprised at how People aren't quite so large as they used to be. And we seem to have taken over in this country. And we seem to have some very large people. I know I'm I'm not as sylph-like as I could be. But um, we have some very large people in this country. And um, so this was in the old market. Um, where I mean, it was the cattle market. So it was a very serious kind of business. And all the cattle used to come there on the Wednesday. And they'd all be sold and moved on. And... Um, and then we had this terrible thing uh, in the 2000s. Uh, I can't remember quite when it was. Um, we had uh, a great big uh, foot and mouth disease thing and, and, and no animals were allowed to move around the country at all. And all these old cattle markets, they all closed. But as the uh, internet came in and they all started being sold online and suddenly all these cattle markets that had been there for hundreds, thousands, well, maybe thousands of years, um, were of no use anymore so they've all been demolished and turned into shopping centres and the lady from the toy shop uh, it was a hot hot Friday morning <laughs> no business so she was out with her with her gun blowing bubbles just trying to drum up trade <laughs> I gave her a smile and she smiled back <laughs> and you remember the clock here from the old Odeon well this is the new Odeon which has been built on the site of the old cattle market as part of this shopping centre and I wrote gone the art deco I wonder what this style is called as a building style and whether it's got a name and whether anyone will care in a hundred years time and, and I wondered whether they still had a clock I ran out of time I was thinking of actually going inside and seeing if they had a clock in the new Odeon they've still got the same lettering so there is something that kind of connects them to the old Odeon cinemas. And then uh, I got myself a pasty, which is a kind of a pastry thing full of meat <laughs> for lunch. And I went to the cathedral precincts where, and I was going to have a sit there and eat my pasty and draw. And, and the... Um, Three Choirs Festival is on, so there's lots of music going on, all these trumpets <laughs> tuning up in the background coming out of the cathedral entrance doors. And there were picnickers there, and I just started sketching the picnickers and people. And, um, and strangely enough, my best friend Andrew <laughs> came along and said, hello, what are you doing here? <laughs> this isn't Andrew. And I said, oh, I've brought my car in to be serviced. Oh, he said, so have I. <laughs> So he had come uh, exactly the same as me, and uh, so he ate his sausage roll, <laughs> which is a wild boar sausage roll, and uh, and I went off to pick my car up, and whereas I spent my time sketching, he went off to the library to research, do some research for his new book. He's a crime thriller writer, Andrew Taylor. So yeah, go and have a look at his books, and um, I'll put a link down below to his latest book. And uh, and there we go, and that's uh, well, that's a morning sketching in Hereford. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, let me know which was your favourite bit in the comments box below. And uh, remember to keep coming back. Make sure you're subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel. And in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.